video review of Trifacta. Um, it promises a lot because it says math plus facts equals fun. And so a lot of people don't like math and to claim that you can turn math in, um, math plus um, something called facts into fun um, is a pretty steep claim. So it looks a lot like Scrabble uh, because it has these tiles and then you have, um, you have these little triangles keep six of your little um, six of your little triangles and you're trying to play them and as soon as you get rid of all of your triangles then you win the game. Um, so it's got these, it's got all of these little things. Um, it has the instruction book and then it has the game board right here. So um, you're what you're probably wondering is, what is a fact? And I thought it was going to be filled with um, a bunch of inter interesting uh, facts about math. Um, like that if you add um, any multiple of three together, then you'll also get a multiple of three, or that um, where the plus sign came from, or that kind of thing. But it actually has no facts at all about math. I scanned through this whole rule book, and just, as you can see, just instructions, no um, facts. What it's calling a fact is this thing right here. And as you can see, I've, I took these little cards and put, um, put them in. Um, this is what it's called, um, this is what it calls a fact. And on here, um, on here it has three numbers that sum up, um, sum up together. And so there are actually four calculations that can be done on this. One plus seven equals eight. Seven plus one equals eight. 8 minus 7 equals 1, and 1 minus 8 equals 7. And so that um, that whole sequence of, of four different calculations that can be done from three numbers that add up together, that is what they call a fact. And so if I were a kid, um, especially a kid that likes facts and trivia, and I found out that this was a fact, I would be kind of disappointed. So as far as gameplay, oh, let me, um, another thing. Um, these are really paper thin and you can see how they're really easily bent. And then um, see how they look like this and you can probably barely even see them um, because they're so paper thin like that. So the gameplay, um, the gameplay isn't all that well thought out. Um, basically you get six, um, six of these and then you um, you either play um, two to replace two of these, or three to replace all three of them. And then as soon as you're all the way done um, getting rid of your tiles, then you um, then you win. It's kind of like Uno, as soon as you get rid of all your tiles, then you win. And then if you can't play, then you draw another one. They have a couple of wild cards. And basically, if you get a wild card, then you can win in two moves. Um, and so, yeah, it's not really all that well thought, thought out of the game. So, I think the biggest um, the biggest thing for this, um, kids aren't going to want to play this on their own. You're going to have to force them to play it. And so, if you're uh, like if you're homeschooling your kids and you need a activity, this is more of a math activity than a math game. Um, so, I would be prepared to force your kids to play this instead of having them want to play it. So that's my review. And oh, up to four people can play because you have.